I think we all realize that it's about time we do better. We've been struggling with our understanding of what's really happening in this world. And for the first time we seem to get to a clearer picture that unless we do something better, we're going for the worst. And I think instead of calling for the problems in the world to go worse and worse, I'm more the one who says, you know, if we really understand the opportunities we have before us, we can inspire young generations for, for generations to come that they can make a big difference. And I think we are between those two tensions. One tension is it's bad and it's going to go worse. And the other tension is that, uh, gosh, we got so many opportunities to make a difference. And, and that needs to be put out there to two groups of people. First of all, we need to bring it out to the people we don't reach. The poor, uh, the unreached orphans, uh, the, the, the women who are single mothers and who don't get any support, and those who don't have any water. We need to reach out to them with very inspiring but very concrete solutions, which really can be made available to them actually which really can be created and developed by them and second we need to reach out to the young people you know in Europe um, we have countries like Spain with 40 percent of the young under 25 unemployed now I cannot see how a country doesn't have the best and most creative and most free resources that they have it's their young people and and the only way to to reach out to young people is by inspiring them is to say, gosh, you know, did you know that you could? But you tried to convince us early in the 90s to, to, to buy things from Ecoware, where you were the CEO. Why should we listen to, to you this time? Because at that point, it was the wrong advice. Well, we didn't understand, as I said, you know, we didn't really understand the ramifications when I started making a biodegradable soap in an ecological factory made out of wood. It sounded like an amazing proposal compared to companies that were using petroleum and having, uh, well, pretty polluting facilities. Uh, um, and, and I have to admit, I didn't see that uh, the promotion of uh, the use of palm oil was leading to the destruction of the rainforest and habitat of the orangutan. And I think that is uh, sometimes you got to make something wrong to realize how you can do it better. Uh, and I don't want to, to point fingers at anyone, but I think we have to realize we are a recent arrival on Earth. I mean, compared to many other species, we're young here. We're just learning the ropes. We are still figuring out how these things are functioning better all the time. And so I think we have to come to an understanding how it is possible with what we have See, palm oil was something we didn't have, and so I went to look for what I didn't have, and therefore I brought it back. And that is nearly always bound to create some difficulties and some problems. So what I needed to learn and I want to share is that we see, by applying some simple principles, we can avoid those unintended consequences. I don't want to convince people. I think the strategy of leadership is not only is where you say, I know and you better believe me. Um, I think the strategy of leadership is to be able to expose many different options to the people. And I think there is an intelligence in the community and they will opt for what makes most sense. And so if I share with people that, did you know that uh, when you're shaving yourself in the morning, you are using titanium, which is going to end up in landfills. Uh, people say, but, but I, did, I, I didn't realize what I was doing. Well, that, that's, that's one first step in exposing people. Do you know what you're doing? But that is part of the terror strategy. You know, wake them up and say, you're a vegetarian, so are you eating shiitake? Then you're destroying the oak forest. Well, that is the terror strategy we've had. But we need to have, complementary to this, a strategy we say, and did you know that it's possible to do exactly the same in this way? Is, is this why you drop a new innovation every week now for a year or two? Exactly. So what we want to do is expose, don't impose. And I think this is a very important uh, uh, strategy because if we're imposing something and if we want the laws to be changed and everyone to behave as we think they should behave, then I don't think we're going to get to sustainability. We're going to make people uh, play the fiddle like a donkey. 
and we know if we ever teach the donkey how to play the fiddle, they ain't going to sound very nice. So we're needing to expose people, not imposing that's what you have to do. We need to expose people, and on the condition that there are many things that they can do, they will pick and choose. And they pick and choose, and they can pick and choose at home, in their community, in their village, in their region. And when they are experiencing what they can do themselves, by simple exposure, I mean, what I do on the internet is just a thousand words about a innovation, and I show what's the potential, and I tell what's the innovation, and I say where is the first money being earned, and I give them the perspective. Well, we, we, we get people from all around the world uh, saying, oh, and, and, and how can I do this? And now we don't want to make it too easy. You know, when things are easy, people don't do it. So the future for the blue economy? You know, you want to call it the green economy 2.0, we're going to call it the blue economy. I am happy with whatever we call it. The main thing I wanted to say with the blue economy, it's going to be much better than the greenwashing we're facing now. And you know, UNEP is doing an incredible initiative about creating an, uh, a global green economy, and I fully support that. But what we need to realize is that we cannot rely on subsidies and taxes. We cannot rely on consumers paying more. We have to rely on innovations that are already all around us because whatever we're adopting has been benchmarked around us before. Benchmarked first by nature, second by some entrepreneurs. And if we're adopting things that have been done around us before, we feel more confident in the way forward.